it's your boy Giovanni the King for Gossip Love the World, rocking with Easy TV. You already know what it is. Pull up in the X5, Gucci for my neck, right? Yo. And we flex like it's exercise. Giovanni the King, what's good, man? What's good, man? Hey, man, I've been looking for you, dog. We've been finally caught up, caught up with each other. I've been hearing a lot of great things. I've seen a lot of great things from you. Um, rapper, actor, videographer, you know what I'm saying? Like, where do you find all this time to do all this stuff, man? I don't know. I like to uh, do stuff. You like to do I stuff? like to paint. I made this. Oh, you paint too? Yeah, I paint, paint clothes. Um, we'll do everything. Yeah, and we uh we currently in Hype Waco. Shout out to them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, you know. Yeah, I've seen the wall. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Like I've been been knowing about you, been hearing about you for years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, been seeing the music. I've been hearing all of this. So you know, this is thank you for blessing me with this opportunity to put you on Easy TV. You know, kind going of, up. Kind of an old rapper. Kind of old rapper. <laughs> you don't yeah. look old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, what's, what's your Instagram? What, 13,000 followers plus? And all this, I've seen you on the news before, you know. I just want to say a big shout out to you. I yeah, appreciate they were telling me I was on the news like like last week. They was like, you're on the news again. I see you. That's crazy. And it was like, man. I always salute work ethic, bro. Yeah. There's not too many people with that from my city, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, but let's get straight to the interview, man. You got anything you want to say before I ask you the first question? No, nah, man. I'm, I'm just excited to be on Easy TV. Like, I was watching it. I was on it. You know what I'm saying? I hit you up. I was, when I seen it, I was like, First thing I did, I was like, hey, I need to find out who this is, mm -hmm. what this is. Put me in contact with Easy TV. So yeah. now we're here. Yeah. So, um, hey, anything you want to ask? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty open. Like, I really got no filter. So. For sure, bro. Um, hey, shout out to you. Appreciate you for that. You know what I'm saying? We're going yeah. up every day. We get bigger and bigger and bigger. Ooh. You should see my DMs. See, you, you swag a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got, yeah. A, I got like... I got a thumbprint on my Versace's. Yeah, let me see if I can get people, let me let people see. I got, see I this. guess I got a thumbprint on that. On your Versace's? Yeah, my Versace's. Uh, before I ask you the first question, man. They're kind of heavy. You, oh, those are Versace's on your face? Yeah, Versace's. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 those dope, man. Before I get to this first question, man, um, the pink hair, what, what does that mean to you? I think it's dope because it's, it's separation. <laughs> what does it mean to me? Yeah. Does it have a meaning? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say it has a meaning. Uh, I mean, I just, I, I put different colors in my hair. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, you know, like, I just try to, you know what I'm saying? Go different. in with, Definitely with, stand with, out. with my art, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm that's an artist. That's a dope. And, What's the name, too? Know, it really just kind of evolved from from painting hats to start off because I had a hat collection, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I started having hats, then I started painting jackets and vests, and then it went to shirts, then it went to tie-dye, then it went to shoes, then it's like my hair, it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Now it's just like my whole outfit might just be a whole color. Yeah. I, it just, I don't know, it just, it's just how I express myself. It's your personality. Yeah, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I, I shot a video today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Um, this was something I put together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my girl made this for shirt, me. That's a dope shirt, bro. You know I might need to uh, give me one of those, man. We yeah, yeah, you, you know, we make customs, you know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. We got, we're here at Hype Waco, and he got some um, some shirts here, too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We got some customs. So, you know, shout out to Hype Waco. Yeah, yeah, interview with them coming soon, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not for real? Yeah. Sure. Anyway, man, let the people know where you're from, bro. I'm from Bell Mead. Bell Mead, okay. Yeah, I'm from Bell Mead, but I'm from Waco, you know what I'm saying? I've been in the Waco music scene for a long time, and I perform. Man, I, I was looking at my old MySpace. Like, the video don't even work, mm -hmm. but, like, literally, it was, like, from, man, I don't even know what age, but I was, man, like, 19. I performed with Charlie Boy at, like, Pump Station, like, here in Waco. Yeah, how so was So, it's, that? like, so old, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to say, oh, a long time ago. Yeah, how was I was, that, I was rolling on the X-Pill. My eyes were, like, super big, <laughs> and I had these glasses on. Yeah. But it was just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was... I don't, I don't even know. It was like a long time ago. Yeah, it was great. It was you cool. still have a relationship with Charlie Boy? Yeah, it was just a... Yeah, I, I did a lot of stuff with Charlie Boy. I was okay. on a couple of his albums. Me and Just Britney got a song on on his album. Like, we've we done a lot of work. I forgot about Just Britney. Yeah. I need to find her and get on Easy TV, too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, um, how was things growing up for Giovanni, man? Um, It was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, like, I had a bunch of brothers, you know what I'm saying? But I was kind of like... 
I kind of like grew up on my own, mm-hmm. but I was into technology like from really early age. Like um, I had the whole studio when I was like fifteen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we would just make music and pretty much do what I do now. You know what I'm saying? And you know, just the same stuff. Definitely. I really, like I life. always been doing music, and yeah. I mean, I dropped my first mixtape when I was like. 18 and I mean like actually had pressed up mm. copies and like had 5,000 copies pressed up and it was crazy because my first cover I got it done by uh, King's Designs mm-hmm. and One Mind yeah so it was a collab CD cover from yeah. both of them like yeah. you know what I'm saying One Mind by the way so it was like before he was One Mind like really um growing up his brother was my best friend okay. so like we and 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 like me him Terry Blues, we all would roll together like mm-hmm. to lunch every day, and it's crazy. Like now, we're all like successful in our own way. Like we would literally just go to school and eat lunch every single day. Like it's cool. Like shout out to Bellmeat. Yeah, <laughs> like no, it's dope. Um, uh, before we get to the next question, man, I've been like I said, I've been interviewing a lot of upcoming people around the city. The way the city definitely got talent, and they all, you know, shout out Gio the King. Shout out Gio the King, man. I think that's dope. Yeah. Um, how you you know establish those relationships with those people. Yeah. And we're going to get into the visuals, too, because yeah. they crazy, man. But yeah. It's like, just I show a lot of love to mm-hmm. artists, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because, like, I was a frustrated artist, and I wanted to, I don't know, I just started, it just started kind of happening. And then, like, it became something, and people was like, hey. Da-da-da. So I was, like, thinking of ways to be creative yeah. and um, thinking of ways to really make stuff pop. And it kind of just hit me, and I was like, man. And I just started moving a certain type of way, and then, like, I just started meeting different different artists in Waco mm-hmm. and, and meeting new people. Mm-hmm. And then we just started making dope videos and making them better. And then I started being better. I started getting faster. I started to be able to do it pretty much when I just get off work. Mm-hmm. Like, I might wake up in the morning and shoot a video. Um, I might shoot a video after I shoot a video next to somebody. I might two, shoot two videos together yeah. in a separate, like, shoot a separate, mm-hmm. but it's the same thing. Like, it's just some, like, new age, just thinking, like, how I can just go fast, go fast, go fast with yeah. the content, like. Nah, yeah, that's dope, like, bro. Hey, you um, um, are you black, bro? You... I'm Puerto Rican. Oh, Puerto. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. shout out to Puerto Rico. I was there last year. I got a video actually coming out next month. Mm-hmm. I shot in Puerto Rico. Um, um, so check out for that. Uh, me and you know Lil Ronnie from Throw That Ass in a Circle. Oh, okay. So me and him, we got yeah. a video that I did in Puerto Rico. That's. Yeah, you worked with Lerani before? Yeah, that's my homie. Like, oh, before dope. he blew up, he mm-hmm. used to stay the night in my house. Mm-hmm. Like, um, before Half Pint Films and everything, like, we was cool. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Half Pint. Half Pint, he was at my one of my biggest videos, Supposed to Live. He was down here. Um, he was helping me with my video, and we put that on World Star like, years ago. Mm-hmm. When I was in Austin, Half Pint came to my crib. It was crazy because, like, it was me. It was like, I think we got a flat, and it was me, Half Pint, and Cade Films. Okay. So do you know uh, Fresco Films? Nah, I haven't met him. So before. it's like it's like he's a big videographer too, okay. but it's like all of us in a certain way, like we're all big videographers, mm-hmm. and it's like it's like shout out to you know what I'm saying, like just you know what I'm saying, like everybody just coming up, like, yeah, it's just fire. Yeah, my next question: but, How long have you been rapping, bro? Like you said, you put out your first uh, big tape when you was 18, but before that, I'm pretty sure you was into music. Cause... Yeah, probably when I was like probably like 15 years. Okay. I've probably been rapping like 15 years. Okay. you know what I'm saying. So like. A long time. Yeah. Like, usually a lot of my music, I might freestyle, but, like, um, I've been rapping for, like, long. What got you into it? You just, was like, got bored one day? Or? I don't know. I, well, I was really just a DJ first, and mm-hmm. then I got tired, really, um, I got tired of just, you know what I'm saying, like, just being a DJ, mm-hmm. and then what happened is, like, this guy ended up telling my girl that I was cheating on her. Oh, wow. So then it was, like, <laughs> he was rapping in my house, so eventually I was just, like, why I got all these people coming to my house when I should just rap myself? Mm-hmm. So then eventually I made a diss song about him. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I just started rapping from there. And then like after like my third song was like a really big song in Bell Me that everybody listened to mm-hmm. and it was like it was like really popping. So like it just kinda made me just start rapping mm-hmm. and like yeah, it just blew up from there. And then the people I worked with, they did like C D covers, like okay. King's Design. Mm-hmm. So they were like they were pioneers and like mm-hmm. Like cameras and DSLR cameras, they had this like ten years ago, mm-hmm. like before, like when it was like the early stages of Photoshop. So like they would travel to that's how I knew Charlie Boy because they would travel everywhere do their covers. So I was always in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Before I was even in the mix, so it just kind of, I was just kind of living it, and I just kind of got thrown into it. Mm-hmm. And since I did, um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do pictures, so I just did videos. So you know what I'm saying? That's really why I do videos. Yeah. 
So, um, I just recently saw the visual for Trap For You and the song. Yeah. Dope song, by the way. Cool. Um, could you, could you elaborate, like, like, what was that, like, where was your mindset at? How did you I freestyled most things? of it. Okay. Um, I freestyled it, yeah. like, probably, like, five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was really just, like, I freestyled it, <laughs> and it, it, like, really f- sounded good. Like, I was going to Puerto Rico, so I did a song right, like, Cashy sent me a beat. Mm-hmm. So, it was all, like, fun music, and then I just did it before I went to Puerto Rico. Um, so, I was just feeling good. And then I just freestyled most of it. And then I kind of like, you know, probably touched up a little bit on it. But most of it is just all freestyle. But mainly it's all about love. Like what you would do Mm -hmm. to give yourself to a person. Like what you would do. It's really about love. And it's like, I try to explain like my feelings in a way. Like because I feel deep and I think deep. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I try to feel like in a way that connects with people. You know so like Especially people in Waco. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, this ain't no environment where I'm gonna sit here and make a song like so romantic and stuff like that's cool you know what I'm saying but that's not music I'm a personal gym so I want to put that type of feelings and emotions into a, a song mm-hmm. in a different format you know what I'm saying and like make you feel it and be like this is funny it's kind of funny but you kind of feel it but in a way it's like you will I man girl I do love you I would work for you <laughs> I would trap for you you know what I'm saying you would really do that mm-hmm. for a girl like like I like I like to see when I put on this Gucci chain and my girl put on the other Gucci chain. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm chilling in in my YSLs and she chilling in the uh, the Valentino slides. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just at the house and she don't even like to dress up. But yeah. it's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it made me think of that song and think of that video. Like, yeah, I would try for you. Like I would really go out here and get it for for what we trying to get. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want first you want clothes and house, car. You know what I'm saying? Anything. You know what I'm saying? Let's go get it. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah. So that's kind of what it means. Okay. You know Dope saying? song, by the way. And then it's for God's love the world, so you know, trap for you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's all back to the album and you know the message about spreading love. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that, that's crazy because um, I'm actually glad you said that because my next question, leading into my next question, you kind of hit it right on the nail. I was gonna ask you what makes you different as an artist musically versus your peers here in the city or you know. Oh, I don't know. I I mean, I don't I don't even try to look at what's different because I half of my music I freestyle mm-hmm. it. So I mean, I'm not even thinking of too much of nothing mm-hmm. whenever I create. Like sometimes, like I don't think of nothing. Like like when I say I don't like I have a bad memory. Like I don't I don't I don't know. So I just yeah. I'm just start making stuff. Or sometimes I just go in there start making sounds. And I just start going in. Or sometimes I might write. It might take me like five minutes, mm-hmm. and I just kind of write. But I just feel mm-hmm. right then, you know what I'm saying? Like how I feel. So I'm not really worried about I say worried about thinking about another man or how another person feels mm-hmm. or their energy. Mm-hmm. I'm just thinking about mine, you know what I'm saying? And think about what's coming through me cuz sometimes it's like ideas are everywhere so I'm just capturing the moment, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm just doing me, you As know what I'm saying? For sure, so, for sure. But yeah. I do fuck with a lot of artists, mm-hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like everybody has something different, you yeah. know, unless you want to be somebody else mm-hmm. on purpose. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, in, in this game, it's, 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 it's acceptable at, and to a certain extent, yeah. you know. Yeah, we're going to pray for the people who are trying to be somebody else. I don't think that's healthy, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, you know, some people, they <laughs> rap just like another person, or yeah. they act just like another person, but, you know. That's not something I try to be. Yeah. So that I try to look super weird, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, if you see another person like me, that sound like me, you're gonna be like, come on, bro. Clearly, you can't like, Clearly. Because <laughs> he look weird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, people be driving, they be like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I don't think it's weird, weird, bro. I think it's dope. Yeah. You're always supposed to separate yourself from the crowd. You know what I'm saying? 